ladies, what stress is really doing and why this is so important, and it's so good we talk about it now kind of at the midpoint of the year, is your stress is actually affecting your golf swing. So why does your golf swing feel different out on the golf course in competition sometimes? It isn't your technical skills breaking down. It's the mental stress and the way we're using our mind that actually holds back the part of your brain that functions your body for the golf swing. Has anybody ever felt a little tension and then kind of blocked one? Or we start seeing these swing changes happening on the course and then suddenly you go to the range and you're like, coach, you got to see this. I can't believe I'm hitting it. And then next thing you know, it's pure and it's like perfect again, right? And then we go, oh, well, I got to work on my swing so I can bring it out more out on the golf course. Ladies, we got to realize we have two distinct skill sets in order to bring out our best. You have to develop technical ability. Now, all of you ladies have that. How do we know? Because when you're not in pressure, how are you performing? It's smooth. It's rhythmic. You can pull off any of the shots almost on command, right? And then we need to develop our performance skills. And performance skills could really be summed up into one main thing. It's really learning and managing your stress. And again, why is it so important? Because literally you can't fight your biology. So when we're having mental stress, guess what's happening? Our brain supports cortisol for one. Cortisol is a paralytic. And so when you're in fear, the body tightens up. That's the cortisol. Our body doesn't move effectively. Like think about this. If I laid a big board across the ground, like a balance beam, and I said, walk across the board, how easy would it be to do? You'd probably prance and dance around on it. You could probably walk and turn, walk on one foot, hop across it. No problem. No consequence. But as soon as the mind perceives a consequence or a threat, like if we put that board across two buildings and I said, walk across it, you didn't suddenly lose your walking ability, but the cortisol, the stress inhibits your ability. So some people might even just be able to crawl. Some people shut down so much with so much cortisol that they can't even move. That's why they've even changed it to fight, flight, or freeze because people, they just lock up. And sometimes people even can get to that point on the golf course if we're not watching the stress levels that are going on. So it directly impacts your golf game. Now, what's, what's interesting, ladies, is if you're making up things in your mind that make you feel threatened in a way or have fear or consequences, we are producing that naturally. And then what's going to happen to our golf swing? Things are going to get tightened up. And we're going to see a real effect in the golf swing because the physical body is affected by this mental stress. And then we get adrenaline. What does adrenaline do? Oh, man, our heart starts pounding. Do, 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 do. Well, the higher your heart rate gets, guess what? There's a deterioration of your motor skills. So if you get like over like a certain, I forget what the, the heartbeat is. You can't even press your cell phone to dial a number. Like your body can break down that much just based on your heartbeat. So it's really easy, ladies, whenever we know like it's a big moment, right? Like it's the last hole of qualifying. You're trying to make the team or here you are at the event and you're trying to close it out and finish really good. Well, those big moments are obvious. It's easy to know that, right? So we know we have to tend to ourselves and breathe and calm down. What we want to start teaching you with their mental golf type is teaching you the little indicators of stress, the things are letting you know that it's building inside and your golf swing in performance will get hampered. Does this make sense so far, ladies? Yes. And this is what's happening in performance. If we're underperforming or we're inconsistent, we're in boiled frog syndrome. Anybody ever hear of boiled frog syndrome? How do you boil a frog? What, what if we put it in super hot, steaming, boiling water? What do you think would happen? I toss a frog into it. What do you think it's going to do? Jump out. <laughs> Jump out. Yeah, he's not going to say this is a nice hot tub. He's going to go, oh, my God, I'm burning, and he's going to jump. Ladies, these are those big moments in golf, right? Like, it's a no-brainer. 
I need to get myself in a good place. I got to calm down. My hands are shaking. My heart's beating. It's a big moment, right? And we have those tools for it, but that's not what's impacting your performance. It's the boiling frog. So what we got to do to boil the frog, and you put him in there when it's nice and lukewarm, where it feels good, like he's getting into a bath and he goes, oh yeah, this is nice. And then what you do is you start slowly turning up the gauge and it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. But because the frog is gradually increasing, guess what? The frog doesn't notice it. And pretty soon it's boiling water and the frog doesn't jump out. He's stuck. This is what's going on in our golf games, okay? And the more we can detect these things, ladies, they're, they're going to stay with you through your whole life too. Golf's just a great way to bring it into your life and develop these skills. It happens in your personal life. It happens in your schooling, when you're going to approach a job. All these tendencies are going to stay with you. And so when we look at your personality, your personality type indicates what you do really well what you've really developed in yourself through the years, and then those inferior functions. And when those inferior functions are showing up, we're in stress. And like Rimmage said, our decision-making changes. Not only is our golf swing getting impacted, but we change our decisions. I mean, speaking from personal experience, I have made many decisions in stress that were very regrettable in my life. Saying and doing things that I wish I would have never done, right? And that didn't, wasn't, characteristic like me well we do this on the golf course too all the time like sometimes i made decisions i'm like holy crap who was that guy <laughs> like i don't have that shot what am i thinking and so our decision making changes our energy and how we use our mental energy changes so who are our extroverted people in here who are the ones who like to socialize put their energy out into the world guess what when you're getting stressed or you're taking things too serious we get quiet we start shutting out that world. We start getting inside. Now, this is a telltale, a, a telltale sign of stress. Introverts, we like their private inner space. It's that real rich experience in their inner world. It's like my wife. What happens when she gets stressed? She gets caught up all in these environmental factors. And these environmental things and people and all this stuff around her start taking her attention away from what she needs to do. These things are happening all the time. Your focus is impacted. And even the way we try to go about getting our goals and our, our achieve our dreams get it done. So I remember even when I'm not getting things done, I look at the judges in my life. I try to live like them. And all it does is make more stress and I stay stuck. So now that you're starting to see the impact of your game, it really becomes about managing your stress and getting to know yourself. And by you learning to be yourself and stay to these strengths, guess what, ladies? You're going to get your performance coming out naturally, more predictably. It's going to be more consistent. 